I've watched from Manyala also perform, you kind of get tempted to put your money where to this tournament, this meet, the Kip Kano class on the continental stage. He would later on in about 64, 16, 90 hills. No one paid attention. And with we, there's Gladys Boss Cholet, the deputy. Uh, I, I really don't know what to expect next week, but I'm excited. I know it will be a good run. Um, <laughs> I know I'm ready, looking at how I ran the Indo season, breaking the national record twice, so I know I'm ready for this one. And don't ask me what I'm expecting, because this year we're not working with that. We're working with how you're feeling and how the atmosphere will be. I'm hoping that this is going to be the weather for next week Saturday, so that we can have very good times. But I'm sure that it will be a good run. I'm just asking people to come out in large numbers. You know, I, I work with crowds. I love crowds. I love the hype, so I'm hoping that the stadium will be full because it's a small stadium, not compared to Kasarani. It's a small stadium close to town, and it's a fast track. That one I know, I'm sure that it's a fast track, so I'm excited. Tuko ready? Fans, mkuje kwa wingi? Uwanta iko open, usikai kwa nyumbo kisama una watch kwa TV. Aita kwa mzuri. Kuja witness na macho yako maybe unataka kusalimia umanyala kwa hapa hiyo siku utamsalimia unataka kupiga picha na mora umanyala just come and witness we are here come and the us so yesterday i posted something on my facebook page to learn under 156 it's something i'm planning maybe maybe before olympics i'll do something good that's what I can promise you. Thank you. Um, our commitment as APSA to sports has been dated over the last uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, as a brand, we believe in uh, supporting sports across different facets. Uh, over, the last, um, over, over the last 10 years, APSA has invested uh, up to 1.2 billion in sports, cutting from athletics to golf uh, uh, to football, uh, just nurturing the spirit of sports in the country. Uh, we remain very committed uh, to continue with this endeavor, uh, and specifically around uh, athletics, which uh, we have now selected as our flagship uh, sporting event to support as a brand. Uh, as APSA, we like to say your story matters, and there's nowhere where you find uh, that coming alive uh, than in athletics, where you know the young men and women who make the country proud, the profile of brands is made what it is by athletics or other sports, uh, and the profile of sports is also elevated by brands. So there's a very clear benefit to the bank and the brand APSA uh, from the work we've done with the athletes and athletics in general. We pride ourselves and we will continue to do this uh, given Brand Kenya cannot be Brand Kenya to what uh, Deputy Speaker said without athletics and without, uh, without athletes. So we see benefit to the brand and we also see the benefit to the sport from the brand. And this is something you can expect to continue to harness and to build here. Yeah. Thank you very much. I would wish to speak to two issues. The first one is the importance of this event to the ministry in this country in totality. You know, when we started speaking about the Kipkeino Classic, we had not appended the name APSA. And let me take this opportunity to congratulate APSA for walking into a space that is, giving, is going to give them a plus in the business that they are undertaking in this country. 
and also welcome them to this event and assure them that they are working with the champions of the world. It is very, very important to note that curating this kind of event in a country is not as easy as we think. And that is why, like you've rightly been informed, this is the only African country that is hosting this kind of event in this place. And for that reason, let me thank His Excellency the President for having the ambassador number one that to have ensured that most of these sporting activities that are currently have been earmarked to be held in this country continue to be hosted here. Um, World Athletics started this idea of um, forming the continental tours in every continent five years ago, actually six years ago, uh, that is when the idea came in. But the reason why it was started is because you are all aware that we have got other events like Diamond League. So the idea was because there were too many athletes wanting to run. And therefore, World Athletics came with something called a world plan. A world plan to make sure that all the athletes get enough competition, they have enough opportunities, and they can earn money. So when it was, when it was decided, we in Kenya, uh, as uh, Athletics Kenya, we took the opportunity also to um, apply and to request World Athletics to uh, allocate us one of the continental events here in Nairobi, which they did. And it has been done for the last five years, as it has been said here. And so allow me to congratulate those who have been um, involved in this arrangement from that time up to today. Um, of course, the ministry, we want to thank you very sincerely because you have, you have given us all the support, you have given us uh, all the ideas, the good ideas, we have put together um, um, uh, discussions and that, that is why we come to this. So next week, on Saturday, I think um, it will be a real a real um, event that will be, uh, be coming here. And so the champions, the Ferdinand Kumanyala and Mary Mora and the rest who will be running, we wish you all the very best of luck.